Now, the COVID vaccine company Moderna is due to report before the market opens today. The biotech firm is expected to post its first quarterly loss in two years as demand for COVID-19 vaccines has now dropped. Uh, Moderna's forecast to post a loss of $1.75 per share. At the same quarter last year, it recorded earnings of $8.58 per share. Vaccine revenues anticipated to drop some 80 percent to $1.18 billion. As the fall in earnings and revenue growth is given, the market now wants to know how Moderna's management envisages its future and how it will get there. Let's take a look at what's been happening with its uh, share price chart. Uh, you can see <clears throat> from the highs post-COVID, we were all the way up at this level up here at just shy of $500 a share. It'll open all sessions on the IG platform this morning at nine o'clock, uh, already having lost one and a quarter percent late last night at $129.75. Moderna's CFO, James Mock, told the Financial Times recently that Moderna is not just a respiratory vaccine business, it's a latent vaccine business, it's a personalized cancer vaccine business, it's a rare diseases business. Yet up to now, it's only marketable product. It needs to develop these drugs, which has had a big cost associated to it. Uh, the marketable product it's had has been for COVID, but research costs are expected to double in the first quarter to $1 billion. Thanks to COVID, Moderna has accumulated a capital of $18 billion, according to its CFO. Six to eight billion of that is to be spent over the next few years to develop its influenza, COVID and RSV respiratory vaccines. The plan is to generate eight to $15 billion in sales by 2022.